everyone, welcome to the Roboblox Steam Show. The purpose of the show is to bring robotics closer to our daily life and to share knowledge of Steam STEM with everybody. And with everything that is going on right now, the global epidemic situation, we thought maybe we can use what we have and what we know to build something useful and something fun. And that's why we are going to introduce you to the Captain Sanitizer. So why do we call it the Captain Sanitizer? Let me show you. We all know that one of the most important things to prevent yourself getting infected by coronavirus is to keep your hands clean. That's why we built this Captain Sanitizer to serve the purpose. And it's actually very simple as you just saw and let me show you how it works behind the scene. Here is our Q-Scout with ultrasonic sensor and with the servo and also a LED dot matrix screen, we have ourselves dispenser robot. When the ultrasonic sensor detects any object within 10 centimeters, then it will send a signal to this servo and servo will press here and squeeze out this hand sanitizer. With this LED screen, it welcomes you with a smiley face and once you had your sanitizer and clean your hands, it will give you a thanks note to thank you for what you did. If this is a muscle, to make our robot work, we also need to program its brain. And that's why we are going to move to the software end. When you open our MyCode interface, and this is what you see. On the right side, you see QScale is ready. On the left side, you see all those blocks and also sectors you need to use when you program. And this is the program, I already have it ready for you. And so, whenever you start programming, always remember to use when program began this block in the beginning. And forever means all those motion will be set to repeat forever. And right here we have if and also else. So what does this mean? This is our logic and this, this logic means if when the ultrasonic sensor reads anything within 10 centimeter, less than 10 centimeter, then this motion will be triggered. First of all, set the ultrasonic light to the color green and play a note and the servo motor will drive the servo to turn 85 degree and wait for one second and then the servo motor will then return the servo back to 45 degree and the LED matrix will show a thanks as in the captain proves and wait for two seconds or meaning that if the value is more than 10 centimeter then this will be triggered. So set onboard light to red and show a drawing which we have a smiley face here as the norm, okay? So this is our entire program and our logic and this is how we program our Captain Sanitizer's brain. And once you finish the programming, click upload and send your program to our captain and voila, you have yourself a automatic hand soap sanitizer dispenser. Very simple, right? Follow our steps and build your own automatic hand sanitizer dispenser. Also, if you have cool ideas about how to build robots to help our daily lives, please share with us. You don't really need to spend a thousand dollars on smart homes and buy all those fancy machines to turn your home around. This is very easy, home DIY, and this is completely useful and fun. If you wanted to know more about robotics, DIY, and also STEAM, please follow us on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, YouTube, and LinkedIn. See you next time.